How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be showing you a quick and easy FPS boost made available to every single one of you watching who has an Nvidia graphics card and if you have an AMD graphics card or are running on Intel integrated graphics don't panic this feature should be added to games in the future where you'll also have access to this. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the activate windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own windows at a major discount head over to WhoKeys to purchase a windows 10, 11, home or pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. The feature in which we're talking about is going to be NVIDIA's brand new NVIDIA Image Scaling, or NIS. This was made available a couple of days ago by a driver update, and this is set to rival AMD's FSR, or Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology. The fantastic part about NVIDIA's tech is that we can actually implement it at a driver level, meaning that we can actually add it to any pre-existing game. Whether that be ridiculously old and outdated titles, all the way up to the latest and greatest that don't have FSR or DLSS available. On screen now you'll be able to see some direct comparisons at different resolutions and different settings, comparing the image quality and the FPS boosts in which are available. In some cases, especially for those of you running on higher resolutions, you could be seeing up to a 40% FPS increase from using this setting. It's very quick, easy and simple to set up and in this video we're going to be covering how to set it up, make sure it's working and some of the settings in which you should use to implement it into any of your games. If you do enjoy this video please do remember to leave a like and a comment as it does help me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm and let's get straight on into the video. So as mentioned before, you are going to have to be running on the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver for this option to be available to you. This feature is also available for every single graphics card which is still currently supported by NVIDIA at the time of recording this video, and I'll have the oldest model supported on screen now. So as long as your graphics card is a higher end or a newer model than any of those shown on screen, you're good to go. So take yourself down to the description down below where you'll be able to find the GeForce NVIDIA driver update link. Now if you are wanting to install the driver properly to your system, I would definitely recommend doing a clean driver install, and if you do wish to see how to do that, I recently just posted a video to the channel, which you can find in the top right hand side of the screen now, and also linked in the description down below, showing you the proper way to install a graphics card driver to ensure that you don't run into any issues or fix any potential issues in which you've had in the past to be able to get the best performance possible out of your GPU. Once you're on the NVIDIA website, take yourself down, input your product series, your product information, operating system, then select start search. Navigate down and download the latest game ready driver. At the time of recording this video, you need to have driver version 496.76 or newer. With the latest driver downloaded, take yourself to the bottom left, then select open. Select OK, select agree and continue. Select express unless you want to set up your own custom options using custom. Select next. Once the driver installation has finished, go ahead and select close. For good measure, to make sure that everything is working correctly, I also like to quickly restart my system, boot back into Windows. What we can now go ahead and do is right click on our desktop and go inside of the NVIDIA control panel. Inside of control panel we first of all need to go up to adjust image settings with preview, select this option and ensure that use the advanced 3D image settings in the middle has been selected, select apply in the bottom right hand side. With that out of the way take yourself over to adjust desktop size and position. Now enabling image scaling correctly with inside of the control panel is going to disable you from being able to use custom or stretched resolutions on games as this is going to override the scaling method applied to your graphics card. For most of you watching you more than likely aren't using those resolutions so that's fine. Take yourself to Manage 3D Settings on the left hand side. The setting in which we're going to be looking for should now be titled Image Scaling found right at the top. Go to the drop down menu, make sure to turn on GPU scaling and sharpening, then we're then going to have the sharpening filter available to us. The sharpening filter does not affect performance but will drastically affect the image quality and how sharp or smooth the image is. This mainly does come down to personal preference and how sharp or smooth you want your image to be and this will also depend on what resolution you are running natively. For those of you running on 4K you might not want to have the sharpening filter up by much. 1440p users might want it higher and 1080p users may not want it at all. It really comes down to your personal preference. I'm going to leave some recommended values at each resolution in which you can use on screen now. I would then also recommend enabling the overlay indicator. This is going to give us a tiny overlay in which we can see on our game to see the status of NVIDIA image scaling to see if it's taking effect or not working at all. It's not an intrusive overlay and I doubt you'd even notice it unless you were looking for it and it's definitely worthwhile keeping on. 
With those options selected, select OK. We can then take ourselves down to Apply. If you are planning on using NVIDIA Image Scaling with a laptop, for this to take effect you will actually have to have the laptop plugged into an external monitor, as NVIDIA Image Scaling will not apply to your laptop screen. This may be updated in the future, but at the time of recording this video, to have this option available and working on a laptop, it must be plugged in via the HDMI or display output and plugged into an external monitor. You then need to flip down the laptop screen to make sure that you're just running onto the external monitor and you'll then be good to go. And for laptop users, that also has another benefit as you'll be disabling what's known as NVIDIA Optimus support, where the laptop CPU will no longer be processing frames to the laptop screen, so you'll actually be getting two optimizations in one, offering insane performance increases for laptops. Now, image scaling will only work when you're running on a resolution lower than your monitor's native resolution. So let's say you're playing at 4K. If you change your resolution in-game to something lower than 4K, NVIDIA image scaling will then kick in. This will not apply any image scaling options when you're playing your game at native resolution, so you can toggle it on and off in-game very easily. Now, at the time of recording this video, some DirectX 12 games are having a slight issue getting this working. You won't run into any performance issues if it doesn't, but in case you find that you can't get the program to work, it, it may be because you're on a brand new title running DirectX 12. Just remember that any game you're planning on booting into, if you're on an RTX-based graphics card, NVIDIA DLSS will still offer a visual increase over this technology, and this also goes for AMD FSR. If FSR is available with inside of the game, it's a much easier toggle in which you can fine-tune quickly and easily with inside of the game settings, but for the 99% of other titles on your Steam library, Epic Games, or whatever platform it is you're playing, we can apply NIS and get a fantastic FPS improvement. Once you've booted into your game of choice, for me, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Call of Duty Vanguard, but this will work in any game. To see if NIS is active or working, look in the top left-hand side of your screen, where you should then be able to make out the NIS text logo. If you see this logo, that's fantastic. It may be appearing as a different color to you, depending on what your current settings are. For me, NIS is currently showing up in blue. Blue means that NIS is ready to be used if you do lower your display resolution. For me, I'm running my game at 4K on a 4K monitor, so we're not running on a lower resolution, so NIS currently isn't running. It's available, but we aren't using it. If I lower my resolution down from 4K, NIS will then turn on. And remember, you do not need to be playing at 4K for this to work. You could be on a 1440p monitor, you could be on a 1080p monitor, or even lower. This works completely across the board at any resolution. As you can see for me, currently at 4K native, we're getting roughly 85 to 87 frames per second. Take yourself into your in-game settings. Again, this will work for any game, but your settings menu may be slightly different. You want to find your game's display settings where we can change our resolution. So we're currently running at 4K, we can navigate down and selecting any resolution below 4K will enable NVIDIA image scaling. You may want to go down lower and lower and lower to get more of a performance improvement, and we'll go through that later. But for now, let's just try out the first resolution, which is 836p compared to 2160. Apply this resolution. After a few short moments, you should then see that the NIS logo is now lit up in green. We can then go back inside of our game. Now, depending on what level of sharpness you set in the settings earlier on, you may notice that your game might be slightly too sharp or too soft, and you can go back and set up those settings to really dial them in for your personal preference. But as we can see, just setting that one resolution lower, we've been able to achieve roughly 10 more frames per second or a 10% increase. And the image still looks absolutely fantastic, but there's no point in ending there. Take yourself back inside of your settings and go to the resolution underneath this one and we can continue to repeat this step by going down and down and down until we find the lowest resolution in which we're happy with both visually and for FPS. As you can see for me, personally, this is the setting I would use on a 4K PC. And we're able to achieve 105 frames per second up from 85 originally. With practically no quality loss whatsoever, the image is scaled correctly and still looks incredibly sharp, where we've now been able to achieve over a 20% performance improvement from one simple setting. Now just imagine if you applied a GPU overclock on top of this, went inside of your game settings, did some more fine tuning, you could be seeing some insane performance improvements from a very quick and easy to apply setting. In this example, we are downscaling from 4K to 1440p, where we're now able to achieve 120 frames per second. We've now jumped over to Overwatch, which I believe launched in 2015, so this is getting on to be about six or seven years old at this point, and we can see that NIS or NVIDIA Image Scaling is good to go and ready in the top left-hand side, completely natively, without any updates needed. We're getting about 90 frames per second at our native monitor's resolution. Heading into the Escape menu, heading over to Options, 
video, going to our resolution tab so we can set our custom resolution. For this I'm going to be using the 1662p resolution because I do find that this is the best match for 4k and applying this resolution. Going back with inside of the game, as you're now able to see we're getting 115 to nearly 120 frames per second just again from that one setting. And we can see that Nvidia image scaling is working correctly in the top left hand side because this is now running in green. If NIS is in green that means that it's active and working. So as mentioned before, take yourself into any game no matter how new or old it is or how well or badly it's optimized and see what gains are available to you. For any content creators out there, whether you stream or record your gameplay, one thing to note is that this currently is not supported when recording videos. When you're recording your game using one of the resolutions provided by NIS, your recording software is only going to be recording in that resolution and not the scaled resolution provided by NIS. It's not necessarily a terrible thing, especially if you're not a content creator, that's not going to affect you whatsoever, but I just thought it's worthwhile mentioning. The reason I'm able to properly capture this working currently is because I have my laptop hooked up through a capture card, which is actually as my display. We aren't recording the game with inside of the PC, we're recording the actual display itself. In the future there should be some game updates coming which will have Nvidia image scaling imported directly into the game where you'll then have access to this feature on AMD Radeon graphics cards and integrated GPUs for both Intel and AMD. That is a quick and easy FPS boost available for every single person watching on an Nvidia graphics card. If you have enjoyed this video please do remember to leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm and if you're interested in more FPS performance increases and optimizations which you can apply make sure to check the video videos on screen now.